everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie, I use they them pronouns. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I live and on which I stand today. I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people as well as all First Nations people worldwide. Now recently I've realised there are so many things coming out this year, like books and movies and TV shows and games and like everything. <laughs> there, are so, there are so many things that I'm excited for this year. Um, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd share a few of them, because um, you know you might you might have known about a couple of them, or maybe we can we can just um, geek out of them together. You know, um, I'm very excited for these. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I thought I'd chat a bit about them. Um, so I've got I've got some cold dashi, and I'm ready to go. So I'll just go through them chronologically. So firstly, on February 28th. Day of Falling Night by Samantha Shannon is coming out. Now this is the prequel to The Prior of the Orange Tree. Which if you just wait a second, I'll get it. Here we go. This one, nice and nice and chunky. <laughs> um, I really like this book. I read this in like 2017 probably. Um, I think I've reread it once since, but I haven't read it for a while, so I think I'm probably going to have to reread this before I can read Day of Fall of Night, because I've kind of, like, forgotten the finer details, you know? It's a high fantasy involving a couple different countries who are sort of at, at odds with each other, um, like, religiously and politically, but they have to try and come together, um, and defeat the greater evil of some dragons, which are, like, going to destroy the world. Um... But it's a lot. It's a lot more magnificent than that description makes it sound. Um, it's just oh, it's really good. It's really, and this cover. Can we appreciate this cover for a second? Like it like wraps around too. Like it's absolutely gorgeous and it's like shiny. You can't really I can't, you can't really see yeah the, like this metallic. If this blue is metallic, and it's absolutely fucking gorgeous. Um, and I love this book, so I am very excited for the prequel. I think it's gonna be really interesting. I don't know. I don't know much about the prequel to be honest. Um, so I'm not sure like what exact aspect of the story it's going to sort of explain or give some context to, but it's going to be good. It's going to be a fun romp and um, I'm excited for that actually, I am. And next we have a couple of TV shows. So once again, let me just get something. So my favourite book of 2021 and one of my favourite books of all time is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, this is not the actual cover. This is this is just a picture I got from Pinterest. I recovered this myself. But um, yes, Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, I love this book. It is absolutely incredible. Um, it's basically the story of the rise and fall of a fictional rock band in America in like the 1960s, 70s, and it's phenomenal. It genuinely is. It talks about so many important things. And it's just very like it's very potent. It makes me bawl my eyes out. It makes me laugh, you know? It just oh it's just an amazing book. And it's getting a TV show. Um, and this they've been filming it for like three years, obviously because of coronavirus, everything kept getting delayed. But it's finally coming out. It's coming out like they're releasing like one episode a week on Amazon Prime from March 3rd to March 24th. And <laughs> And it's gonna be so good. They put the trailer and everything out already, and I swear to God, I've watched it like so many times. I can not even count how many times I've watched that trailer. Um, it's so exciting. It's so, ex and I think, I think they're actually gonna release like some of the albums, or like maybe just one album. But like they're gonna actually make some of the music, I think, and release it. Like they're better because like when they were when they were casting the sh the actors for the TV show, right? They just got actors who can sing and like play instruments, you know what I'm saying? And they just like made it into a band. Like, it's actually incredible and I'm so excited. And like the cast, absolutely. Like everything just seems like it's gonna be so good. Um, and I think they're gonna do it justice. Like, it's probably not gonna be as good as the book because the book is like god tier. But I really do think they're gonna do it justice and I'm very excited for that. Um, it was really cool seeing the trailer and they put in like a little, a bunch of little like snippets of moments that like, you know, building tension and it was really cool being able to see like, even just from like a one second clip, like I can tell what scene that is from the book and that really just, really shows you how authentic they've made it, if I can tell. 
what it's what it is, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I'm very excited for that one. This one, oh, it's like so exciting. I'm so very happy about that. And then also in March, um, I love the TV adaptation of the second season of the Shadow and Bone TV show is coming out. Um, and again, I'm so excited. We're finally getting Wylan and Nikolai. Like, I'm so excited, but I have no idea what the plot is going to be. But I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. And it's going to be very vibey. And the cast, you know, I trust them. I trust them. I really do. Um, although I think Wylan is going to have black hair. Like, I don't think they're going to... I don't think they've done anything to Jack Wolf's hair to make it blonde. So that's going to be kind of weird. But apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, I think it's going to be really good. Um, and I'm very excited for that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna be rereading all the Grisha Vox books um, in preparation for that, and I'll be doing a reading vlog of that too. So stay tuned for that one. Um, it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really fun. I haven't read them uh, for a year or two now, actually. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm like looking over to where they are over here. It's very exciting. So yeah, and then we can salt my list. On April 25th, actually, two books are coming out. First one is Happy Place by Emily Henry, which I actually haven't read any of her stuff, but I want to. I think I'd like it. So yeah, so I'm, so I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. And then also In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. Now, I have read House on the Cerulean Sea and... What's the other one called? Under the Whispering Door. Yeah, I've read those two, and I like them both, especially House on the Cerulean Sea. I really, have, I really like that. I've read it a few times, and they're both really good. And in the lights of puppets, I don't know what it's about, <laughs> but I feel like it's going to be similar to those two, so it would probably be pretty good too. They're just sort of like cozy, queer fantasy type of vibe, um, and they're pretty nice, they're pretty nice, so I think that would be good too. And then, of course, this one, this one is very anticipated, <laughs> um, Tears of the Kingdom. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is coming out on May 12th. I've already pre-ordered it. It's gonna be so good. Are you pretending I have nails? Anyway, um, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, it's gonna be <laughs> like all the theories and everything, all the lore I've been seeing. It's like so like, whoa, and like, oh, like the trailers are so cool. It's just so cool. Like they look like there's so many new features and like new runes and like even the paraglider got an upgrade. Like, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. Um, and I'm gonna, I already know I'm gonna struggle so hard, but I'm gonna enjoy. Um, and that's the important thing, too. So I am very excited for that. And then, now this is arguably the most exciting thing on this entire list, um, which is saying something, because I am very excited about a lot of these things. The Will of the Many by James Arlington is coming out on May 23rd. I like, I'm, it feels so surreal in me having to say that we have a date now because I've been waiting for this since like 2019. Um, and I just, hang on a second, hang on a second. Oh, they're so heavy, it like hurts my wrists. Anyways, um, these books, these books right here, The Lycanius Trilogy by James Arlington. This is my favorite high fantasy of all time. And that is saying something because fantasy is like my main genre honestly like I grew up on this shit like and let me tell you these are absolutely like they surpass god tier okay they're just absolutely absolutely divine like I'm, I'm gonna be making dedicated videos on these in the future I already know because I have so many things to say um, that we cannot even dive into it here but this author this author James Arlington um, he is, he's writing like a new series, um, which is also going to be high fantasy, um, and he's, he's already written like the first two books, but he didn't want to publish the first one because he wanted, like he wanted to postpone it a bit so, so that there'd be like a shorter gap in between books, which I kind of get, I kind of get, but on the other hand I'm like, <laughs> just to rub the book, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's called, it's called Hierarchy. So the first book is The Will of the Many, that's one that's coming out. And it's it's based on ancient Rome. Um, 
and it's about like the main character he's like in this like it's like an academy and he's like secretly like trying to like take down the like corrupt government or whatever but like they can't know this about him obviously so he's just like hiding and like and the tagline is something in latin i don't remember what it is it's like Audi vide vice or some shit like that but it's like i like i googled it i remember and it says um it means like he like see here and be silent which impeccable like already everything i've heard about this sounds so good and i'm so excited and i just i just can't wait okay i and the fact that because i'm like subscribed to james arlington's like newsletter or whatever obviously like that's how much i love these books right um and he said that like working on hierarchy has been challenging for him because it's on a bigger scope than Lycanius. Like it's on a, like the scale is bigger than Lycanius. And I'm just like, it's, it's what? Like, like it's fucking, fucking bigger than this. Like I, because there is so much going on in these. Like they're so complicated. Like it literally, I had to read this book like three times before I even remotely understood what was going on. <laughs> Which, now that I'm saying that, it sounds really bad, but, like, it's actually really good, okay? It's just, like, too, like, higher brain power for me. Um, but the fact that, like, these are so... There's just so much happening. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, hierarchy is, like, more than this. And I'm like... So, yeah, um, I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna struggle when this comes out but um it's gonna be really good i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy it and then the last thing i have to talk about is heavenly tyrant by shiran jay chao which is the sequel to iron widow which i read last year i gave five stars um this is basically a dystopia based on chinese mythology um and it involves like these giant mechas or like transformers basically um, that are like controlled by human pilots um, and they use them to fight off these like invading creatures. Uh, it basically, I would say this series is kind of like if you think of female rage, this is that. Like, this is that. Um, it's really good, it's really good, but the end, like, obviously, I'm not gonna spoil anything, don't worry, but the ending of the first book just like. It, it it left me a little it left me a little confused, not gonna lie. And when I heard it had a sequel coming out, that made me even more confused because I thought it was a standalone. <laughs> but then I saw on Goodreads, you know, how it had the, the next book like without a cover or anything, and I was like, like this is getting a sequel because how do you <laughs> how do you move forward from that? So I don't know if I will actually read Heavenly Tyrant um, because I'm kind of satisfied with Iron Widow, like where it left, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's enough to just kind of pass out the rest in your imagination. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, but it's coming out, it's coming out, the cover is also glorious, um, so yeah, I might read this one, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's exciting. So all of, all of these babies of mine, um, have things relating to those coming out soon, so I'm very excited and very excited. And we're getting Tears of the Kingdom. Like, and we're getting freaking Shadow and Bone. Like, there's just so many things happening. Like, there's so many things happening. I literally had to write a list on my phone because, like, the, like there's just too many things that I couldn't remember them all. So, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of things, a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, so I'm very excited to share, you know, my experiences, my reactions to all of them with you. Um, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. Um, and it's very exciting. There's a lot to look forward to. So it's going to be good. Um, so that's it for this video. If you want to see updates on any of this, uh, please, please subscribe so I don't miss anything. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and or night, and I'll see you again next week with another video. Bye!